Base launch check during countdown net. Pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lights have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. All systems are go for launch of Falcon 9. Carrying SES 18 and SES 19. Let's listen in to the final seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Minus 42 seconds into the mission, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. And we are preparing for max Q coming up in about 20 seconds. That is the moment in which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Everything looking good Pop with one. everything looking good with uh, vehicle performance and trajectory. Q. All right, there's that call telling us that uh, we're now past the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. We also heard the call out a few seconds before that from Mach 1 telling us that the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up, we have three events happening in quick succession. For those of you that have watched our MVAC webcasts. MVAC engine chill has started. Those familiar with our webcast, this will uh, uh, be very familiar. Uh, we have main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation, and SES1 or second engine start one. Main engine cutoff is where all nine M1D engines, which you see uh, right now fully lit, they will shut down and that will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And that's where the first stage. The vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. First stage will separate from the second stage. Right after stage separation, uh, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth, targeting a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, second engine start one or SES one. And that's where we will light the single MVAC engine and it will propel the second stage along with the SES. -8. Main engine cutoff. Confirm stage separation. And back ignition. All right, there we can see a really neat shot of the first stage looking at the second stage, second stage looking at the first stage. There's a beautiful view of both of those uh, stages, one behind the other. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. We're expecting fairing separation in about seven seconds. fairing separation. And there we can see those fairing halves have separated. This was the seventh flight for one fairing half and the third flight for the other fairing half.
We're now T plus three minutes and 45 seconds into launch. Everything looking nominal for both the first and second stages. Be sure to keep an, of signal, Bermuda. Be sure to keep an eye on the stage one and stage two telemetry readouts on the bottom corners of your screen. There on the left-hand side of your screen, we have the first stage, right-hand side, beautiful orange glow of the MVAC engine on that second stage. As I was saying, keep an eye on the telemetry there Both in the vehicles bottom. Both continue to follow nominal trajectories. On the bottom of your screen, we can now see uh, that first stage has reached its, its apogee, it, that altitude there. It's, it seems like it's hovering. It's basically at its apogee. It will slowly, uh, but then more quickly, um, lose altitude indicating it's on its way back home to Earth. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will relight. That helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Over the next few minutes, you can also spot how the first stage uses its grid fins. Beautiful view there of those grid fins. Um, those grid fins help steer the vehicle to uh, its landing coordinates. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins and they're positioned near the top of the first stage. You might also notice those white puffs of gas coming from the top of the first stage. Stage one uses quick bursts of nitrogen gas to help with the orientation and attitude control. Stage one entry burn startup. And there we can see on your screen that entry burn has begun. This burn Stage will, one flight termination has been saved. This burn lasts for about 23 seconds. Five seconds remaining. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And with confirmation of that entry burn shutdown, Both we have... vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. One last burn before the first stage attempts to land on our drone ship. Of course, that's the landing burn. During the first stage landing burn, a single Merlin engine, that center engine, will relight and slow the vehicle down for its uh, attempt, uh, its landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Gorgeous view of the second stage MVAC engine. Uh, right before in that stage prior two view, is terminal guidance. we were actually able to see the contrail left behind by the first stage. Um, lit by the sun, uh, peeping stage up over the... Tonic. There you can see the first stage uh, flight path, basically, illuminated by the sunlight peeking over the horizon of the Earth. For those of you just Second tuning in, flight termination system is saved. we expect second engine cutoff one and first stage landing to occur within seconds of each other. See the landing burn has begun, as well as that second engine cutoff confirmed. Nominal parking orbit. And we just heard the call out for Stage good one. orbit. Flight deploy. There. This marks SpaceX's 180th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket and the sixth landing for this particular booster, having previously supported CRS-24, UTELSAT Hotbird 13F, OneWeb-1, and two Starlink missions. And as we heard just prior to the booster landing, we had a confirmation of successful second engine cutoff and good orbit. So the second stage is now heading into a coast phase. That second relight of our MVAC engine is set to occur around the T plus 26 minute mark. So until then, sit tight and we'll see you soon.
Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. Welcome back to the live webcast for the SES-18 and SES-19 mission. If you're just joining us, liftoff occurred at 7.38 p.m. Eastern Time from Launch Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Post liftoff, we also had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, ignition and shutdown of the second stage, fairing separation, and first stage landing. Coming up in about 17 seconds, we will relight and shut down that, the second stage engine once again. That burn will last less than a minute and is the last burn prior to payload deployment. There's a view now of that second stage. Standing by for SES-2. There we can see on your screen. SES-2 is underway. As I said, this burn will last less than a minute. And as mentioned previously, today's mission marks SpaceX's ninth SES launch. SES is a satellite telecommunications network provider that supplies video and data connectivity worldwide. There we can see second engine cutoff has occurred. We will stand by for confirmation of good orbit. We can tell that that engine ha is no longer uh, ignited as that skirt will transfer orbit. And there we heard the call out for good orbit. Uh, with that confirmation of second burn of the second stage engine burn and of that MVAC engine uh, now in or the second stage now in good orbit, uh, we're going to come back to you in about four minutes to cover the first deployment, which will be SES 18. Until then, sit back and enjoy the Space Tunes. Welcome back once again to the SES-18 and SES-19 launch webcast. For those that have just recently tuned in, it's been a nominal mission so far. We had liftoff at 7.38 p.m. Eastern Time, successful landing of the first stage, two ignitions and shutdowns of our second stage engine as well. We're coming up to one of the last major milestones, which is the first payload deployment for this mission. And that should be coming up in just a couple of seconds. SES-18, separation confirmed. All right, you can just barely make it out there on the screen, but we can see and just heard over the nets uh, confirmation of deployment for the SES-18 satellite. 
Now the mission isn't over just yet. SES-19, as you can see there, still attached to the second stage and is scheduled to deploy in another four minutes. So hang tight, we'll see you again in just a few minutes from now. Welcome back once again to the SES 18 and 19 launch webcast. We have one more milestone left for today's mission, and that is deployment of the SES 19 satellite. We deployed SES 18 just a couple minutes ago, and with the second stage now about to fly over Madagascar, we are expecting the second deployment, that of SES 19, uh, coming up in just seconds from now. SES. Separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen, as well as heard on the nets, successful deployment of the SES-19 satellite. With successful deployment of both SES-18 and SES-19, that brings today's webcast to a close. We would like to thank SES for entrusting us with today's mission and all of you for joining us. We also want to give a shout out to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. This launch concludes our 218th overall SpaceX mission to date, the 19th launch of the year, and the second launch of the day. A doubleheader on a Friday, what a great way to end the week. Thanks for tuning in and happy St. Patrick's Day.